Hey, I'm Jay Kumar, the Bass Blaster, and this is your Seafoam Top 5 Bass Baits that are semi-forgotten but are still available. Number one, the Curly Tail Grub. Listen, back before drop shots and Ned Rigs and other finesse techniques, if you absolutely needed a bite, you couldn't get a bite any other way, you would put on a Curly Tail Grub, notably the Mr. Twister version of it. Depending on the color, it looked like a minnow, a leech, whatever the fish wanted it to be. I guarantee that's still the case. It still catches them. Unfortunately, it's like Rodney. I don't get no respect from anyone. Number two. Have you ever fished the five and a half inch Smithwick Suspending Pro Rogue? Think about it. Five and a half inches, the bigger version. Well, until recently, it was out of production, but LureNet.com brought it back due to pro and just regular fishing guy requests. Why? Well, it has a slow sink in cold water and it moves a little slower too, kind of like the Kung Fu Panda before he gets in shape. Cold bass like it. Number three, the lizard. Used to be the number one bed fishing bait because bass hate lizards. I guess lizards eat bass eggs and bass, boom, would smash them on the bed. And it was the number one Carolina rigging bait because that big lizard slowly floating through behind that weight looked just like a, a golden corral buffet to these bass, man. They couldn't resist it. I'm really talking about the OG, the Zoom Lizard in Pumpkin or Pumpkin Sea, but man, there are so many great colors in that bait. When's the last time bass in your lake saw a lizard? Try it, man. Number four, the Lure Jensen Speed Trap. Now, Lure Jensen is a cold water bait company kind of known for salmon fishing, now owned by Rapala, but that Speed Trap is one of the best bass crankbaits ever made, especially for colder water, river fishing, smallmouths, that kind of thing. Crystal Craw and especially Crystal Texas Shad seem to be the deal. And now that I've told you all this, I'm gonna let Agent K take it from here. I am just a figment of your imagination. Number five. Jigs. Thanks, Captain Obvious. It should be obvious that every bass fisherman would fish a jig, but it seems like jig sales have slipped a little with all the options out there now, like flipping baits, uh, bladed jigs, and whatever else. My two cents for whatever it's worth is that bass love jigs, and jigs are fun to fish. And not only that, you spend less time messing with them than you do re-rigging your soft plastic flipping bait. So have some fun, tie on a close quarters combat jig, and get after them, and I bet you the Major League Fishing Pros will be fishing a jig a lot more next year. Can't wait. All right, that's all I got for you this week. Thank you, Seafoam. Go to BassBlaster.com or .rocks to sign up for the Bass Blaster email to get all this juice and more. See you next week. God bless you.